really, that's very, very nice. Welcome to our second show. I, I know what you're thinking right off the bat. He's in a robe. Um, and uh, this is my robe, and, and, and it's uh, a stylish one at that, isn't it? I mean, and, and all my clothes look like this. Guys just don't know how to dress, do we guys? I mean, they should, they should put expiration dates on clothing so we know when they go out of style. <laughs> It's just a shot in the dark with a man. There's a guy in the audience tonight. He's wearing one of those sweaters tied around his shoulders. This is the dumbest look of all. I swear to God, I think these guys think they, that it looks cool, right? I, I, I think it looks like they can't dress themselves. I think they're home going, honey, I, I can't get this on. I'll just tie it on. Maybe nobody will notice, you know? I always wonder if they have their socks tied around their ankles. But I'm in my robe because, you know, I'm kind of burned out after the first show, and um, I'm just going to relax tonight, and, which is great because the show really doesn't revolve around me tonight. It's really about my married friend Pete and his wife Jackie. You didn't get to meet Jackie last week because ugh, we hadn't cast her yet. <laughs> And I think you get to meet Lewis in this uh, show, too, if he shows up on time. We really know, don't know ourselves whether he's even going to be on the show. So this works out great. I'm going to be able to catch up on some reading. Uh, I'm just going to find a good book. You can enjoy the show, and I'll see you all next week. Okay? Good night, everybody. See ya. See you later. <laughs> Gary called me up and asked if I would write his theme song. I'm almost halfway finished. How do you like it so far? How do you like the theme to Gary's show? This is the theme to Gary's show, the opening theme to Gary's show. This is the music that you hear as you watch the credits. We're almost to the part of where I start to whistle. Then we'll watch his Gary Shandling show. With the theme to Gary Shandling Show. No, no, this, this, this show's not about me. No, no, I told you it, it, it's about Pete and Jackie, my married friend and his wife. They're having some marital problems, but you're still going to love them. They're so great, they should have their own show. I'm just going to... I'm just going to sit here and listen to... Uh, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, read by Dick Cavett. So, boy, there should be some really good interviews in here as well, I guess. We'll probably find out more about Injun Joe than we ever wanted to know. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. You don't know about me without you've read a book by the name of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but that ain't no matter. Aunt Polly... Tom's Aunt Polly, she is, and Mary and the Widow Douglas is all told about in that book. And the way that the book winds up is this. Tom and me found the money that the robbers hid in the cave. Now, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives are predicting what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth ten points, and here's our first one. Gentlemen, when you're lying in your usual sleeping position, do most of your chest hairs point towards the east, the west, the north, or the south? Tony? South. South. She said most of your chest here is definitely pointing right towards the south. Peggy. <laughs> south. South. She said they, those little devils point right to the south. Yeah. <laughs> oh, both of them. Yeah. They just curl. <laughs> okay. Your turn, Pete. Well, it's uh, it's definitely uh, north by northwest. Uh, I'm positive. <laughs> yeah. South. Yes. How could you say north by northwest? You idiot. Drop along down amongst the shadows. Moon was shining. The sun shadows made it most as light as day. I poked along well on to an hour. Everything still as rocks. What, what was that, about a one-minute scene you just saw? By this time, I was most down to the sea oh, island. Oh, God, I can see it coming now. There's, I'm not going to get through this book. I'm going to have to find out all about Aunt Polly in the bathroom. Oh, Pete. Gary, forget about it. Hey, Pete, I'm not, I'm not even supposed to be in tonight's show. What's the problem? Jackie and I got no points again this week. Oh, Pete. Pete, you, you've been watching the newlywed game again. 
Pete, we've gone through this before. It's just a television show. You can't put that much stock in it. Gary, it's not the fact that we never win the grand prize selected especially for us. It's just that we've been beaten by a sailor and his mail order bride who've been married for three days. Three days, Gary. That was Tuesday, and I've been married for 14 years. Why are you wearing a robe? Pete, Pete, I've seen you like this before. When was the last time you and Jackie spent a romantic evening alone together? Um, just last June, uh, the Dodger Cubs game. Oh, yeah, that, that was romantic. It was seat cushion night. Why don't you and Jackie go up to Santa Barbara for the weekend? Hey, you know, okay, Gary, that's a good idea. I know. Um, uh, maybe next month. Why not now? I, I can't now. I just can't go now. Why not? Because I'm not a now kind of guy. Pete, you gotta go now. It's only a half hour show. <laughs> for the sake of time, why don't we say I've already called Santa Barbara, I've made the reservations for you, you call Jackie, she's all excited, she's on her way over now to tell you how excited she is about the trip, and here she is now. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Rod Serling. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, honey. Hi, Hi Jackie. Gary. We can't go on our trip. Well, I couldn't get anyone to stay with Grant on such short notice. You see, you have to plan things in well, advance. Gary likes to do things now. Why don't I take care of Grant for a couple days? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. that's very kind of you, Gary, but... Yeah, it's too I kind. I mean, way too kind. Well, too, yeah. too kind by far. Uh -huh. uh, we can make this trip another time, but thanks for the offer. It was very kind. Yeah, it, it, it was the kindest. Yeah. I'll see you, pal. Well, hey, what's the problem? I can take care of Grant. What, what, what am I? Look, Gary, um, we've been through this before. I mean, you're a good friend, the best, but let's face it. I mean, being responsible is hardly one of your strong suits. Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. Oh, the one time you took care of our plants, they died. Yeah, but they were old. Maybe it was their time to go. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, but uh, what about the tropical fish? Well, hey, I fed them. You overfed them. They exploded. <laughs> they were pigs. I've never seen fish eat like that in my life, I swear to God. What about when we left our cat with you? Well, we found them, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, most of them. Well, hey, he learned to hop. You know, let's face it, Jackie. I mean, Gary has grown a lot, but he's hardly the most mature person we know. Oh, this is great. Hey, I'm a grown man. I have my own television show. I can talk to anybody I want to. And I don't think I want to come home and find our son in a bathrobe at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, this is great, Bruce. Now they're talking about me in front of me. <laughs> speak the language. The next thing you know, they'll be spelling out words. And remember the time I lent him my saw and he left it out in the rain? Oh, now they're bringing up inanimate objects. Hi, Pete, Jackie. Hey. Hi. What's going on? We're just talking about going to Santa Barbara this weekend. Oh, great. It's so romantic. Oh, the sunsets, the restaurants, the halibut. They have very fresh halibut in Santa Barbara. But Nancy, it looks like we might not be able to go unless we leave Grant with Gary. Where is Gary? Well, he's over there where he always goes when we talk about him in front of him. <laughs> Gary, come on over no, here. No, no, I'm fine over here. I'm very comfortable. Okay, come over here right now, mister. <laughs> oh, all right. We're not paying you enough. <laughs> Gary. What? Do you think that you can look the three of us in the eye and, and say... Honestly, I can take care of another living human being. Well, I could take a shot at it. <laughs> well, what about I, if I help Gary? I can I'd feel a lot I better. Well, I love care. taking care of kids. As long as I'm looking after one kid, what's one more? Human being? Is it, was it living? Living human being? I could take, I could take care of another... Run it, give it to me one more time. Son, don't give Uncle Gary any trouble. I'll be good, Dad. Nancy is coming over, right, Gary? Yes, for the third time. Yes, she's coming over. Okay, and you have our number in Santa Barbara. Right. Okay. And I gave you our doctor's number. Yes. And my mother's <clears throat> number in Ohio. Right. And uh, one more thing. Grant is allergic to shellfish. Oh, gee, that means he won't be able to wear that necklace I bought him. <laughs> okay. Bye, Grant. Bye, Mom. 
See you, son. This is going to be fine. Have a wonderful trip. See you, Gary. I'll see you. Oh. Boy, he never kisses me on the forehead. Well, Grant, here we are, all alone. Well, Uncle Gary, let's play darts. Darts? I think that could be a little dangerous, Grant. Maybe, um... Why, Uncle Gary? It just darts. Why don't you just take a little uh, nap, maybe, until your parents come home from Santa Barbara? What do you think? There's a little robe in the bathroom. Close. That's a bowling ball. If that had hit you, I'd be in big trouble. Of course, it would have raised my average. But Grant, you've got to promise to be very careful. I'll be careful. I'm okay. telling you. Go in there. There's a robe in there. Where the hell is that music coming from? I'm serious. Give me the chainsaw. It's a chainsaw, Grant. You can, you can cut off a finger and have to become a shop teacher. Be, be careful. Oh! Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Grant. I knew something was going to happen all during that doorbell sequence. There was no background music whatsoever. <laughs> I'm thinking it's too quiet. It's way too quiet. Grant, are you okay? Lewis, why did you ring the bell and, and open the door? A person either rings the bell or opens the door. I rang the bell and then I tried the door. My eye. The bell isn't a warning device. You don't ring it so that everybody backs away from the door. I'm sorry. I will never do that again, okay? It hurts, Uncle Gary. I can't open my he eye. He can't open his eye. My life is over, Lewis. Let me see, Grant. Oh, God. Hopefully it's nothing worse than look, a black look, eye. I'll get some ice from the freezer. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Why don't you get in the freezer, Lewis? <laughs> Stay in there. Sit down in my beauty parlor no, chair. No, not a haircut. Another haircut, please. No. No, you were out of ice. This is all I could find. This is a veal chop. I'm not going to put a frozen veal chop on his eye. Okay, then I'll do it. Would you? Okay, just think it easy. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Gary. Hi. Oh, hi, Nance. Uncle Gary, it's the frosting. What's the frosting? (laughs) Nothing. Gary, what's Grant doing with a frozen veal chop on his face? It's a game. It's a game. Yeah, yeah, I'll get the tomato sauce. Yeah. Yeah. We're cooking on Grant's face. We're cooking on Grant's face. They poked my eye out. No. Gary! Nancy, we did not poke his eye out. They did so. Look under the couch. No. <laughs> he just got hit in the head with the door. That's all. Gary, he's been here, what, two minutes no, and 30 seconds? That's not true. He's been here well over four minutes. Gary, how could you let this happen already? Grant, let me take a look at it. Oh, God. Can you open your eye? Only the one that's still in my head. That's right. <laughs> I think we ought to get him to an eye doctor. Aunt Nancy, am I going to need one of those special dogs? <laughs> Let's take my motorcycle. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. He's still got one eye left. <laughs> I'm going to be in a robe on a motorcycle. <laughs> well, all right. You've seen me in my robe, and now you're seeing me in uh, my pajamas, okay? <laughs> See the GS? Okay. I stole these from Gail Storm. Okay. <laughs> said it. You owe me. I want to know what you're wearing right now. Will you write in and tell me? Or send me a photo? Great. That would be great. And while you're, while you're looking for your camera, let me tell you that we took Grant to the eye doctor, right? And he has just a little scratch on his cornea. It's really nothing. No, it's nothing major. I know it sounds worse than it is. Believe me, he's just got to keep a patch on for a couple days, and that's it. And then he's going to be fine. But, I, you know, I really feel horrible about this whole thing. When... Grant? Can I come in? Or do you have a girl in there? Yeah, what are the, what are the odds of that, Grant? That's right, Grant. So what's bothering you, Grant? Does your eye hurt? No. Then what is it? I feel bad that I got you in trouble again. I always do. No, you don't. 
Sure I do. No, you don't. Like the time we threw Alka-Seltzers in the pool? Right. And you got blamed for it? Yeah, it was, a, it was my idea, wasn't it? It was great. Remember how surprised those people were when all the bubbles came up? And, and they kept trying to blame each other? Yeah, that was funny. Well, what about the time I kicked the football through the window? No, that was my fault again. We shouldn't have been playing in the department store. <laughs> well, I just wanted to apologize. Oh, uh, that's really nice of you. But everything's going to work out fine, really. I hope so, Uncle Gary. It will. I promise. Uncle Gary? What? What are those life jackets down there for? Oh, those, uh, those are from when I used to have a waterbed, Grant. It's, it's something I'll explain to you when you get a little older. Thanks for the talk, Uncle Gary. No, thank you, Grant. This is the longest conversation I've ever had in my bedroom without the other person begging to get out. <laughs> Good, night, Good night, Grant. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Sleep well. I will. He's a great kid, isn't he? Kind of, kind of reminds me of Bob's big boy. <laughs> anyway, and you don't even notice that eye patch, do you? Well, maybe when Pete and Jackie see it, they'll, they'll understand and everything will be fine. Otherwise, I think, you know, I'm really, really tired. And uh, I'm just going to fall asleep right now. In fact, I'm so tired, you're not going to believe how fast I am going to fall asleep. Here lies Grant Elliott Schumacher. A wonderful, vivacious 12-year-old. Cut down in his youth by Gary Shandling. Who will hopefully burn in hell for what he has done. I don't understand this. I, he was just hit in the eye with a door. It started with his eye and spread to his brain. Our only son. Killed by you. No, I, I was careful. I, I, I swear. This is the worst nightmare I've ever had. Don't adjust your set. I dream in black and white. Much the way our parents must have before there was color. Murderer! You murderer! No. Gary Shandling, a man who can't fulfill his responsibilities. To him I say, please! Hey, can a priest do that? And to the parents of Grant, Mr. and Mrs. Schumacher, I can only assure you, that in his infinite wisdom, he will deal with him accordingly. Will you tell him that he needn't bother taking care of him because I plan to... No. Shoot him, Pete! Get him now! No, don't listen to her, Pete. No, we're best friends. Don't shoot. And you killed our child while we were eating halibut in Santa Barbara. Shoot him, honey! Shoot the bastard! But, honey, what good is he gonna do? The second that the gun goes off, Gary will wake up and this nightmare will be over. Oh, no, he won't. Use this silencer. No, Pete, don't do this. I've known about friendship, no. Mr. Irresponsibility. Mr. I can't take Pete, care of anything. You. Mr. Jerk! Oh, Pete! Oh. I never thought he was funny either. Gary. Oh, Gary. No one made love like you. God, that was the worst dream I've ever had. Except for that girl at the end. Who, who was that girl? And why did she blurt out the truth like that? Come on. Come on, come on get in bed with me. Come on. Come on. Come on, get in bed with me. Come on. You're driving me crazy. Since this morning, I've taken two naps, and I still can't get that girl back in my dreams. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh God, it's, it's, it's them. We're not here. Where are we? I don't know. We're just not here. Gary, we can't do this forever. We can do it till the end of the show. They're going to want the kid back. Oh, this isn't going to work. They're staring right at us. Come on in. Oh, hi. We didn't hear the doorbell. Hi. Well, the lovebirds have returned. Oh, how back. was it? Oh, it was wonderful. It was just what we needed. We got a chance to spend time alone together, have candlelit dinners, 
Take walks along the beach. We really got to know each other, just like honeymooners. We had sex. <laughs> Some great halibut. That's just great. Oh, and, and we got you each one of these for taking such good care of Grant. Oh, no, you should They're redwood have. clocks. No two are alike. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, you know, we have to talk to you about Grant. What? Well, yeah. the thing oh, is... Oh, Minnie! Lord, the place is closed! <laughs> Son, you look terrific. Hey, hey, be careful with that saw. You could put somebody's eye out. We really missed you, honey. Mom, Uncle Gary took real good care of me. <laughs> oh, and we mistrusted him. You know, Gary, I'm sorry. I have to apologize to you right now. No, no, now. Jackie. Hey, I son, we felt so bad you weren't with us. We got you this so you could see where we were. A viewmaster. A viewmaster? <laughs> No, son, look, look through there with both eyes. It's like a 3D effect. Whoa, that fishing boat's coming right at me. Lewis, just give it to me. <laughs> Jackie, Pete, listen, uh, I have to tell you something. Grant's really not a pirate. What? He got hit in the eye with a door. Oh, my God. It's oh. nothing oh, serious, really. I knew it. I no, just no, knew no, it. No, it was my fault. I was the one. I opened the door and hit him in the eye. I'm really sorry. No, it's nothing serious, I swear. No, no really, Jackie, he's only going to have to wear this patch for a couple of days. That's it's really nothing. Gary, you broke my no, son. Pete, don't do this. <laughs> Our son is now broken. I don't believe you broke our son. He's not broken. He's just a little nick. It's oh, nothing. Uh, just a little nick. Let's go. We're getting out of here. Come on, Jack. Yeah, I don't think it was my fault. Thing. I opened the door and hit the kid in the eye. I'm sorry. No, I didn't... it was my responsibility to no, watch Grant. No, it was Grant. my responsibility to watch him watch It was my Grant. fault for having eyes. I was... You, you may have a point there. He may have a point there. Have point there. Okay, enough. Just enough now. We blame him. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, pal. Well, you know, all in all, I think they took it pretty well. <laughs> oh. I'm down 44 to nothing. These guys are killing me. This can't be fun for them. Normally, Pete would be helping me out, but obviously... Hey, come on, cut it out. Normally, <laughs> he's not returning my calls. Well, who's he talking to? Don't listen, it's a trick. <laughs> I have nothing to live for. What the hell? I might as well try to drive on these guys. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Gary, I'm open to see. <laughs> 44 to 2. Pete's back, and here we come. <laughs> Gary, we're sorry. Uh, Jackie and I overreacted. What is this to Pete, apology accepted. Just guard hey, Mark. Gary, don't let me down so easy. We've been friends for a long Mark. time, and I'm going to throw it away for an accident. I mean, thank God I have a friend like you. Oh. 48 to 2. Your man's closing in on Wilt's record. Gary, you had so much to tell. We had sex. We had halibut. We had sex. We had... I love you, Gary Shanley. Hey, don't kiss me in front of these guys. You want to play another one? Or you guys go out and kiss some more? Would you let me talk to my friend a second? Thanks. Would you not kiss me in front of these guys? Let's just forget everything and be the way we were, okay? I accept your apology. Okay, and, and right. as far as I'm concerned, you could take care of Grant anytime. Thanks very much. Why would I want to do that? We've already done that show. Anyway, everything worked out great. Pete's my friend again. Grant's eye is going to be just fine, you know. And I think we've learned something very special tonight. Evidently, there's a strange connection between sex and halibut. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to investigate it as soon as I'm finished with this show. And I want to apologize to Dick Cavett for not getting through your book uh, tonight, Dick, but I promise you, the next chance I get. Anyway, we're going to play basketball now all the way through the closing credits, and it's not going to be a pretty picture, really. So if you have kids, get them away from the set. And I'll see you all next week, okay? Good night, everybody.
Gary Shannon Show. What's Gary Shambling up to next week? I know you've never met my mother before, but you really caught her on a bad day. You see, Gary threw her a surprise party that really put her away. In this room, we have a myocardial infarction, excuse me, induced by sudden shock. This condition is known as Gary's surprise syndrome. But can anybody help get her back on her feet? We're all praying for her to pull through this thing. The folk, too. There's home movies, real wise guys, and Father Guido Sarducci, all on It's Gary Shandling Show, next week on Showtime.